Making a perfect lens that produces flawless image has been a dream of lens makers for centuries. A super lens does the same. Now we will introduce you to super lens. Okay guys, let us first understand about meta materials. A meta material is a material engineered to have a property that is not found in nature. They are made from assemblies of multiple elements fashioned from composite materials such as metals or plastics. The materials are usually arranged in repeating patterns at scales that are smaller than wavelengths of phenomena they influence. Meta materials derive their properties not from the properties of the base materials but from their newly designed structures. Their precise shape, geometry, size, orientation and arrangement gives them their smart properties capable of manipulating electromagnetic waves by blocking, absorbing, enhancing or bending waves to achieve benefits that go beyond what is possible with conventional materials. Those that exhibit a negative index of refraction for particular wavelengths are known as negative index metamaterials. So now let's understand about a base diffraction limit. In 1873, Ernst Abbe discovered a fundamental diffraction limit in optics. According to him, whenever an object is imaged by an optical system, such as a lens of a camera, fine features like those smaller than half the wavelength of light are permanently lost in the image. This loss of information arises because light emerging from objects' fine features carries evanescent waves that exponentially decay, resulting in an imperfect image. This loss of information is the fundamental reason for a base diffraction limit. Now let us see what is a super lens. A super lens or perfect lens is a lens which uses meta materials to go beyond diffraction limit. Super lens enhances the evanescent waves which carry image information of fine features of object and thus using both propagating and evanescent waves to produce ultra sharp images with deterioration. So why there is a need of super lens? Because of abyss diffraction limit, lens of microscope or other optical equipment are incapable of capturing some fine details of object. On the other hand, a super lens intend to go beyond the diffraction limit providing us ultra sharp image. That is why conventional lens have inhibited progress in areas like biology and microelectronics. This is because a virus or DNA molecule is out of range with high powered microscope. Also, manufacturing of smaller computer chips requires help of optical equipment which are also limited because of conventional lenses. Hence, there is a strong need of super lens to progress. Now let us see the principle and working of super lens. The light emitted or scattered from an object includes not only the propagating waves but also evanescent waves, which carry the sub-wavelength detail of the object. The evanescent waves decay exponentially in any medium with a positive refractive index so that they cannot be collected at the image plane by a conventional lens and this results in a diffraction limited image. But if a lens made of negative index metamaterial is placed close to an object, the near field evanescent waves can be strongly enhanced across the lens. After emerging from the NIM lens, the evanescent waves decay again until their amplitudes reach their original level at the image plane. On the other hand, the propagating waves pass through the NIM lens with both negative refraction and a reverse phase front, leading to zero phase change at the image plane. By completely recovering both propagating and evanescent waves in phase and amplitude, a perfect image is created. In many areas of science and technology, super lens has exciting potential. Super lens provides us ultra sharp image going beyond a base diffraction limit, which is essential for observing complex molecular machinery, which will accelerate discoveries in biology and medicine. Another possible application is extension of optical lithography to ultra smaller scale which is key to scaling down integrated circuits for high performance electronics. Optical and magnetic data storage and biosensing may also benefit from the ability to write or read information within ultra smaller volume thus increasing storage and sensing resolution.